Hello friends, I'm following the Fember Ember by Barbara and Louise Hayes and today is the first day of the prompt list. For today we have their proposal that is about fluff and mason jar. The Fember Ember is a way these two creators, these two artists have to inspire us. In this case we're going to be using animals all over the uh, series of the Fember Ember. So today I'm gonna go with fluff and mason jar. So I've been looking for many mason jars all over the places and I got some designs like this one, then I have this ones with a little tag, so I need to decide which one I'm going to use. So I was thinking for um, to choose this one and also the animal I'm gonna be using for these projects are two little snails. I love snails. There are amazing animals and some mushrooms. Like also, I have this paper. I coffee dyed this paper, so I'm gonna start by uh, gluing the um, little piece of cardboard that I have on the coffee dye paper. I like it because it has this vintage look that I really love. So what I'm going to do is like place it like very close to the edge and I'm going to fold it in two parts. So this way I'm going to be um, having both sides covered by the coffee dye paper. So I don't need to do both sides independently. I'm just going to cover it like this and fold it in half. Now that I have this all nice and glue, I'm going to cut this around here. Uh, which is going to give him a really all nice look. In this case, I have this really nice and cover it with this vintage look that I really like. Also, we have this tiny um, written sentence here, but it's okay. We're going to have it probably in the back. And I'm going to start with my mason jar. So what I'm going to be doing is cutting the little mushrooms let me make sure this. I'm, I don't have too much space for all the things that are growing in the middle of two rocks. But I'm just going to take advantage of the two little mushrooms here and place them in the bottom of the mason jar. So I am in love with this project. Uh, I just figured out and I found them on the internet on their YouTube channel, especially Barbara. I love her channel and everything she does. She's really an artist for junk journals and stuff so I really love what she is been doing and I'm gonna follow this uh, the Fember Ember so I can have 25 imagine 25 different ephemera for my journals so I'm wondering if I want to place this there or I want to give it this uh, a little bit of color so I have somewhere down here um, these oil pastels colors uh, let me look for this blue one. As you can see, the ideas are going to start coming out of my head and I'm going to illustrate them with you over here. So this is supposed to be um, glass, so that's why I'm painting it a little bit blue. And the cover, I'm going to give it a little bit of brown, so it's going to be like more into the mood of vintage and super nice. Also in the bottom, like we have a little bit of dirt around here and now I'm going with my mushrooms uh, so let's see what happened I think this is gonna look really really nice I'm gonna, gonna go um, I'm gonna go around in here so I can give it a little bit of the shape of the bottom of the mason jar so this is the thing what do you think about this I like the result probably need to go with a little bit more glue around here and you can do it with your finger or you can do it with a piece of cotton and go around. Also what we're gonna do is using this uh, distress ink vintage photo here to go around the white in this jar over here. You can also you can also use um, pastels for this or a marker like to go around 
And so it's going to give it a little bit more of the sense of oldness and vintage and very, very old piece. Doesn't matter if you got some wrinkles, it's part of the design. It's going to be like a little bit of going up and down in here. So I really love the way it's looking right now. And I need to um, decide where do I want to place the little snails. You know the snails, they love to crawl one on top of each other, especially the little ones. So this can probably be a baby, and that's going to be the mama. So I need something fluffy like we have in the prompt. So probably I'm going to be using some of this to finish the project, but right now I need something to go on the back of the mason jar. Uh, this I think is going to go really nice with the um, color of the snail, so I'm just going to go like um, um, up and down here like on a heel or waves or something and I'm going to distress this a little bit like that. I want it to look like pretty old and with wrinkles and everything and I'm just going to chop it like this irregularly. It's going to give you a sense of old and a piece of something that I got from somewhere. So I'm going to glue it right over here and probably like that to give it a little bit of texture and it looks really really good. Now I'm going with the jar but before placing that I have these brown here, this piece of thread that I can use, or probably that. I think this is a little bit more nicer. So I'm just going to place this in the back here, in the back of the mason jar. So it's going to be like that. And I'm just going to go like with some curves, so just giving a sense of um, nature of flow and finally I'm going to glue the mason jar. The mason jar is super nice. I like the size. The only thing that's it looks to me like too white. So I am going to place a little bit of this distress around here. So it's gonna get like a little bit older like the back of the card. Yes, I like it more this way. Awesome. It looks really, really in the mood of vintage. Now I need to pull it a little bit down because I don't have too much space for my big mama's nail. Come mama's nail, I'm going to place you here. Probably looking this way. Let me think. Probably I'm going to move this a little bit there. Okay, now that I'm sure, I'm going to place a little bit more of glue. And once I finish deciding where to place everything, I am going to press this with a heavy book so everything is going to be in place. It's going to stay in place. So here, I don't see the baby snail. Where is the baby snail? Baby snail, where are you? is here <laughs> it was upside down okay i'm going to glue the mama snail here super cute i'm deciding what to do and i love the way it's coming out already okay so it's gonna go there by the way if you like this kind of content of these videos about ephemera and drug journals subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so you're going to be receiving notifications about my new videos here comes the baby where is the baby going they crawl in a very very weird way so we can either make it look from up there or just hanging her like in the same way So what do you think? I'll probably falling over here. I'm going to place it here. Because I've seen many, many snails crawling that way. What do you think about that? It's really, really nice. I'm going 
going to give this a little bit of more touches with something like this. Is it probably around the mason jar there or here? I'm just going to glue it on top of the other piece of fabric here. It looks really, really nice. I like the sense of texture and movement. I love to go more dark in the jar, so I'm trying to do it with the vintage photo distress paint. Okay, that looks really nice. What do you think? I'm gonna add something else. Let me think what else do I have over here. I'm gonna add a little bit more texture. This is just a piece of cardboard and you just take away the cover. One of the parts is like a sandwich. So you take away the first layer and then you're gonna have this nice texture in the middle. I'm gonna place it like on one of the sides of the mason jar. And I love this one. So it's going to go there. I am in love with this project. The fun thing is that at the end of all these days, like in, in 25 days, you're going to be able to have 25 different ephemera for your junk journal. Here, on my list, and just say check. Thanks for watching and keep on going with your project and stay tuned for my next nice project about the Fember Ember. Bye bye friends.